hello there dear youtubers my name is king1993 and today is another day of me trying to explain the elysian realm okay first of all let's enter the elysian realm and let's look at the weather now this thing is called weather i do not know why it is called weather let's just say weather so in the uh weather okay or the stage effect okay you can probably see that there is decimation at setsuna which uh, level is going to be boosted by two so if you have the proper signet sorry signet or sigil if you have the proper sigil then you will be able to uh, get this either decimation or setsuda at max level three okay only in the non-special one in the special one you have to upgrade them manually now other than that the question remains is what uh are the best option here now if you have a uh, harsher of elysia okay let's say harsher of elysia then or Elysia Harsher, okay, then select this two, okay. Now, after you have selected this two, I will be going for this 2.25. Now, why should you be going for 2.25? Well, here's the thing, because after 2.25, everything is going to be trophy related. So, you will not get that much of a benefit. The only benefit you are going to be able to get from 2.25 is 500 crystals, okay. So, that's the important part. Now, other than that, the question remains is, uh, the question remains is which support character you should be using now when it comes to support character i highly suggest that you go for this actual bunny and uh reverie's calico or let's say pardo felis actual bunny and pardo felis because the thing is uh these two okay this one and two they are gonna be able to freeze the enemy and because of that reason the enemies will be stay frozen for a longer period of time for Elysia to actually do large quantity of damage on them and obviously compared to this one uh, for these two that is this two is only good if you use decimation but because i am concentrating on setsuna only uh, this two is going to be the main important one okay now after you have selected these two you will be starting your gameplay now other than the gameplay the question remains is which type of signet should you'll be using if you are planning on using sakura signet that is well here's the thing if we go to this uh what should i call this expansion collection yeah so not collection i guess flame session network uh okay. not this either okay diverging path no oh like where are these uh, signet related stuff collection yeah collection okay okay here it is so when it comes to uh will be okay i highly suggest that you go for will be uh code 2 okay and when it comes to sakura where is sakura here it is when it comes to sakura i also suggest that you go for sakura code 2 and uh once you have gotten sakura code 2 first and then uh Vilvi code 2 then the last one which you will be getting is grisho code 2 so why are you going to be getting grisho code 2 because grisho code 2 basically lowers the enemy's defense by a lot so that's the main reason now the question remains is okay how are you going to be able to use harsher of elysia once you have gotten all of these collected okay so let's go to this place to give you a, a good demonstration Now, if you are using a Setsuna, make sure that you would have this and this, okay, this two. And when you are selecting a, a Signet of Ego, make sure you know which one you are selecting because here's the thing, for Charge Shot, you will be using Encounter and Yearning, okay. But if you were to get two more Signets, then I highly suggest that you go for this journey and this awakening as well okay but other than that go for a yearning and uh, encounter now once you have selected that make sure to enter the proper place and since uh, it, it has not appeared let's re-enter
Okay, here it is. Okay, now let me even lower the volume of everything here. Okay, so listen to me carefully. So when you use Harsha Elisha, make sure you use these two and then dodge. And as you dodge, you have to click on this uh, weapon activation. Okay, now the question remains is why would you dodge and then use weapon activation? Well, dodging is for the activating the Sakura signet and you, activating the weapon is basically for the VLB signet. Okay, so if you have VLB code 2 and Sakura code 2, that and if you want to utilize them as efficiently as possible, then I highly suggest that you use a dodge first and then you go for the VLB attack. Okay, by doing so, what will happen is VLB. Will be able to activate this uh, secondary core and sakura will also be able to activate our secondary core okay by doing so you will be able to do a massive quantity of damage but also at the same time once you are able to get th those two your third priority is going to be the uh grisio signet core 2 by doing so the enemies are going to take uh, so much damage that the enemy is going to be destroyed like i was able to destroy uh what should i call it i was able to destroy the half boss within 30 seconds so that much benefit you are going to be able to get in this way so anyway if you find this video interesting regarding this topic of which type of signet you should be using on harsher of elicia okay or elicia harsher in char shot then this video will be able to help you in the next uh, uh few weeks okay so if you like this video then please give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icons to get more of this type of topic on a regular basis thank you and see you again next time